this, uh, the issue that this had, and why it's here for me to fix, is that it had trouble with it since it was new, uh, with the chain falling off and the chain breaking. So, let me, let me stop it. Let me stop the engine. And then we'll do the back part. So he stopped it here. So now I'm gonna put the cardboard down here and I'm gonna do the summer sign. So I'll show you the drivetrain. And then this I'll 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 show you the part that uh I had to figure out as to why the chain kept falling off and break and actually broke the link. So the chain so the chain you have Let's see if I can flip this upward. So you have a big sprocket on the axle. It's a live axle. It's a live axle. It's a really beefy axle for this size. See, it's got disc brakes on the back too. There's your caliper on a disc. On a disc here. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, here's the disc. Here's the disc and this is your caliper. So there's, there's a caliper for the rear axle brakes. On here. Now... This is a number 428 chain. Uh, you can get a 428H, which is the heavy duty version of this chain. Uh, so it broke and instead of just putting on a 428, I put on a 428H. But here is what the, the problem I had finding is the configuration or the layout of the tensioner. Uh, of the tensioner that keeps this, this chain taut. And I can see why nobody is making a video of it. It's hard to get to it. So the chain goes around the bottom sprocket, the big sprocket on the bottom. I'm going to see if I can pivot around here and get you a view inside here. And then on top of the engine, on the transmission part of the engine, you have a tiny 13 tooth sprocket. I'm going to see if I can show you that in here. See that tiny in here? There's your 13 tooth sprocket on the transmission. So this chain goes down around the big sprocket, but then up here where the engine, where the engine mounts, where the engine is mounted to the frame, there's a tiny idler. There's a tiny idler, and I'm gonna see if I can show it to you. You see it in there. You see that tiny idler in there pushing in from the front? That was upside down from the factory. That idler it was upside down from the factory. It was literally hitting that bottom big sprocket. So I'm going to try and give you a couple more angles of this. So it should press in on the front of that chain. Okay, so I'm going to try showing you from another angle here. Let's see. I don't know if I'll be successful. What are we going to try? Uh, I'll give you a good view of it here. See it in there? See how I can point it out to you. So there. See that idler? There's the idler. It's pushing in on the front of that chain. Coming off the front of uh, the small sprocket and the big sprocket. It's hard to show. It's literally like everything is in the way of you showing it. Here we go. There is a good view of it. So if you if you have trouble with this... Make sure that that tiny idler is not upside down. Mounted upside down. It's a tiny idler on a small bracket. And I'm not sure if I even do, do um, if I'm even doing you justice here showing you to like this, but I'm giving you a good hard look of how it should go. Because I had a very hard time finding a video that shows how that idler.